Hello everyone, welcome back to Money Ballistics. Hatomi here again. Um, I'm gonna have another um, ballistics test today. Um, however, before we get into that, I wanted to bring up something real quick. Um, so, um, if you guys watch the firearm guy, he brought up a good video um, saying to basically watch out for uh, people doing fake reviews. Um, and they're basically just robot voices over stolen content. Um, so if you want to look more into that, please go look over at the uh, the Firearm Guys um, channel and watch that video. Because um, it actually is it's pretty important for a lot of the actual content creators on YouTube and not just the um, plagiarists and people are just dealing shit. So no work at all involved with it but yeah go watch him um watch that video subscribe to him he's really good um other ones i would say that are really good as far as um pistol reviews ammo reviews just, just gun related good stuff um honest outlaws really freaking good um obviously the firearm guy um uh such zero zero is good and you know etc etc um but yeah just uh just a heads up um, if you are subscribed to them, I would really hope you unsubscribe, maybe block them, don't watch their content. It's, it's all just stolen bullshit and means nothing. So anyways, with that rant out of the way, let's get into our video. So today we are going to do a 9mm punch, 124 grain. Uh, it's going to be out of our 365XL like normal. Um, so let's, oh wait, let's see. Before that, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Really means a lot to me. Like 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so I would love it if you did. Um, on that note too, if you'd like, um, please join my Patreon. Right now, there's not a whole lot on it, um, but I'm gonna be putting up probably outtakes and um, other random videos on it that um, wouldn't maybe can make a complete video on here, you, you know. Um, and you could pretty much, as far as now, I'm gonna make it, you can pretty much access everything for a dollar, um, but there are gonna be more tiers and um, more tiers eventually will get you more stuff, um, you, you know, how it works. but um. Uh, right now I only have one Patreon, but I'm really thankful for them. <laughs> um, but, uh, so what I was going to do for my first Patreons, um, for like maybe the first five or ten, um, since I have a bunch of, um, basically tested ammo here, and I'll even show you. This is just some, but as you can see, these are just, you know, some ammo. So if you wanted some tested rounds, um, or maybe some stickers or something, we can make that happen. So yeah, they're labeled. Um, I don't think you'll get these containers, but you'll get the bullet. Um, so yeah, probably like first five to 10. And um, I'll give out some stuff and you can decide what bullet you want. Um, I would really like to at least keep one of them, but if not, I can shoot more. It's not a big deal. Anyways, uh, enough of my talking. Let's get into um, talking about our ammo and gun, and uh, we'll get into the chrono after that. All right, thank you guys. All right, y'all, so here we are. We have our punch, 124 grain. Um, they have a muzzle velocity of the box uh, rated of 1150. We'll just get you a kind of a close look up of how they look. There's the hollow point. So, and then we're gonna have it fired out of our trusty P365 XL uh, with a compensator. Kind of hard to see there, but it's comped, and uh, that makes it about a four and a half inch barrel. Okay. So take that into account when we're doing the chrono, but uh, let's get into that now, shall we? All right, guys, and here we have our Federal Punch, uh, 124 grain, and we're going to see um, 
what our average is, well, our three shots for um, the chrono. So let's see what happens. Eleven fifty nine, eleven forty nine, and eleven thirty nine. Here is our uh, punch through their gel. But there we have our punch through bear, the entry wound. And then you can see there, we got a really great spiral. Look at that, that's really good. And then you can even see the little P on the bottom for punch. And I would say the very tip of that hard to do with the camera. I would say it's about 15 and a half. So that is really good. Okay, let's go to our denim test now. And here's our punch through denim. Alright, and there we can see our punch through that second hole there. And then we have a second wound track. Let's see if we can see better turning the slide off. That's pretty neat. And of course I went all the way through some stuff all the way through and there's our second one there so that's actually not bad sorry there's this kind of a tripod there isn't there I'm trying to get it so you could see both at the same time but it's about 17 though 17 inches so pretty freaking awesome okay we'll pull these out and um weigh and uh, measure and everything and see they look like they expanded really awesome so i can't wait to see them all right well wow those did pretty freaking good um so here we're going to start with our bear gel punch you can see this is what it looked like out of the gel so 124 grain let's see 125.6 okay it might have picked up some of the gel I try and clean it as best I can okay and then we have our denim this one looks like it lost a little bit more oh yeah I forgot to mention they have this really cool P on the bottom of uh, both so there you go so yeah this is our denim test here so let's see this one looks like it lost something 125.6 exactly the same interesting that's really crazy this one definitely looks like it lost some but i guess maybe it picked up enough gel i try to really clean them off the best i can so anyway side by side oops this is kind of what they look like and you can see like this one looks like it lost a lot but it, maybe it's just because it didn't expand as much you can see this guy expanded way more than our one in denim. But uh, yeah, 
Let's go and see what the diameters are. They look kind of similar, but I think our bare gel will be higher. Okay, and as per um, my new method of doing this, we're going to do three different diameters and I'll take the average and that average will go onto the uh, Google Docs and that link is in the description if you guys would like to see that. So our first one is going to be 0 0.581. Our second will be 0 0.582. And then we have our third at 0.584. Okay, let's check our... Um, denim shot now. Okay, and our first denim shot is going to be 0 0.590. And our second, we have 0 0.595. And then for this, our last one, we have 0 0.607. Okay, so there we have it. Um, 124 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter punch. Um, so what do you guys think? I think they did pretty well. They are definitely punching, I would say even higher than their weight class. They did pretty fucking well. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think about these. Um, otherwise, just remember to hit the like button. And uh, please subscribe. Also, uh, if you skip through the first part, I am doing um, kind of a giveaway for my Patreons, I guess. So I only have one member so far, but I'm going to say probably like the first five to ten. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will give you a choice of some stickers. Um, haven't had them made up yet, but we'll see. And or um, maybe a expanded bullet from the um, videos or even a uh, non-expanded one, assuming I can ship those. I'd have to see in case you guys wanted maybe a rare bullet just to have for a collection. Who knows? There's some pretty neat stuff out there. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. Oh, and remember about the fake video crap. Please, 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 please go watch his video and unsubscribe from that bullshit if you are and subscribe to the real, real, real content creators, please. Okay, thank you so much. I love you guys. We'll see you again. Bye.